Hey, I know there is an overload of content about the EOD, same stuff everywhere with same trailers borrowed from Anet, uh, skill reading and stuff, but I also feel obliged to make my own uh, since I did a vid about my first impressions of the first free pack of Elite Specs. I promise this will be quick <laughs> because I will not dig into it at all, rather just telling you the way it feels in a way these specs were presented to me without changing anything. Besides that, I will touch a little bit on World v World Beta, which is not alliances yet, but rather just a guild selection for the next matchup and World v World bonus week. Also, I will tell you how DX11 uh, beta affected my ancient PC and spoiler alert, this is really exciting stuff, especially for me. Alrighty, let's start with Vindicator. And at the beginning, I'd like to mention that this pack of Elite Specs, I mean the second one, feels better in general than the first one. Also, it feels way more polished. Now, let's quickly go through the main aspects, which is this double stance, swapping of utilities back and forth also the greatsword and this dodge some things i will tell you might sound uh, a little negative maybe but out of these three vindicator is the one that i like the most and i didn't have a hard time at all to understand this and right off the bat it feels kind of just right by the way, you will have to get used to this dodge because uh, it appears that we dodge too much in general, uh, whether we need it or not. Yeah, and this will require some getting used to. Bam. Yeah, and this dodge feels a little too long for my taste. That's the, I guess, one negative thing I can say. Also, the swapping between utilities is sort of a little bit gimmicky and maybe unnecessary, I don't know. Enet uh, presented this class with Marauder set and I didn't bother to change anything, the spec neither. Let's use our Elite. Okay, one mob less, the better. Give me the other side, please. <laughs> anyway, this pack feels pretty decent. If I would have to rate it, like something out of 10, I would give it solid 8 or maybe even 8.5. It's nothing too crazy, maybe just the swapping and the dodge because we already have our energy management and it's basically like having 2.5 stances instead of 2. And sooner or later this thingy will die, right? Get me back to damage. Damage, please. Yeah, these carcass are sneaky because you have to basically Dodge, uh, I mean double dodge or dodge and block to avoid both attacks. And will this be enough? Yes. Alrighty, let's go to the next one. And next one is of course Blade Sworn. And I was excited the most about this one, but it turns out that it will get the most criticism out of me <laughs> because it's the most gimmicky uh, in my opinion don't hate me uh, I really wanted a warrior to have something exciting and special but right off the bat it also has Maruder set it feels underpowered it does less damage with this magnificent uh, sword thingy than uh, Vindicator 
for some reason. Yeah. Now the gimmicky thingy about this stuff is all this charging. Uh, damn it. Yeah. Which was called high risk, high reward uh, type of thingy. But it turns out that it is definitely high risk, but is also low reward one. Please let me charge by stuff. Yes, you see, you charge the thingy, you might swap your position while doing so, and then you fire something. View. And so far, I do not see the huge reward side of things at all. Uh, it misses a lot for some reason. I guess nothing in the game waits for you <laughs> to stationary charge. Yeah, it moves, everything moves, everything pukes stuff. Also, almost everything has some sort of boons. Yeah, and I'm just trying to catch um, decent position for my charging. I guess the range will be too little. Well, yeah, we did some nice damage in this case. It required some waiting Sentry. and positioning and stuff. Ainet's uh, sort of policy was to create something unique and special for each spec. So Damn it. Uh, even if it's gimmicky. And also they did not pay too much attention to elite skills. They were like, or it feels like they were like throw some boons on uh, utility skills and maybe Jeff w which will come out of holidays someday will figure out something uh, interesting for the elite skills because uh, utility skills uh, judging all six elite specs all new six elite specs uh, shares a lot of similarities and if I had to rate this one, sadly it would get like, I don't know, 6 or maybe even 5.5 .5 out of 10. No, oh, these nasty carcass. Anyway, there's nothing much more to show. Let's recharge our skills, flow, some walls, all the walls I have. Sorry, don't have any more. And let's go back to our settlement. <laughs> Narayati, the last one, the catalyst. And my first impression was, damn, it looks beautiful. Because it really does look beautiful. Yes, and these aura thingies. And they gave us celestial stats right off the bat. I don't know why. But even with these celestial stats, of course, it feels a little underpowered, but also it feels squishy. I don't know exactly why. Maybe it's just because I don't play too much of uh, light armor classes. Uh, but it looks really polished and really nice. Yes, this is our elite. We might swap between them until they last, right? Where's the turtle? Here's the turtle. Whoops. Dang it. And I was able to kill this carcass solo. Because, of course, we have some healing power. We have some condi damage. These are celestial stats overall. But I don't know if the hammer is a condi weapon, so to speak. Oops. We press water, skill 4, and we're healed. And we continue smashing this little bastard. Forgot about this one. We need to employ it. Was too slow to block. I'm sorry. How about some twister? Yes. Ha! Block, block. And slowly but surely, someday we will kill it. So, as I told you, for the pretty prettiness and the polishinessness, I would give Ellie solid 8. 
and I wish I could manage Ellie because it's I think the hardest class for me to grasp and to play uh, mainly because of the abundance of attunements and uh, here we have even a five maybe I will try one more time with this one because I really like it and we have a horsey oh my god and a bit a bit 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 of weirdly weirdly eh? oh damn you you're so oh 10% come on I really don't know how to play Ellie I feel like if I knew Tempest it will be much better I thought it should be dead by now but no we need to heal ourselves oh 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 no 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 well this concludes our Ellie review <laughs> I logged in to my necro but guys look at my feet it should be a feet skin <laughs> bare feet <laughs> uh, anyway yeah I wanted to touch a little bit on the uh, will be world beta which is not really alliances yes it's just rather new tab for world restructuring uh, what a word and basically in here you do some clicky clicky and select your will be world guild and for now it's the same as before and I came to my necro to tell you how the X11 affected my old old PC and if you go to the options and the graphic options you can enable the X11 rendering beta I should say beta I guess okay so my PC right my PC is old ancient i7 gen 3 uh, also uh, of course I run the game from SSD and my graphics card is 1050 Ti so this is old uh, system which was giving me with uh, I should say medium uh, graphic settings like steady 40 to 50 something as FPS and uh, it was stuttering a little bit especially in high populated places and in the expansions and i thought that's you know that's the bottleneck of the old pc and there is nothing i should expect from this dx11 but let me go to uh, let's say amnoon yes we are in amnoon and everything looks much uh, more vibrant uh, sharper I should say uh, it renders way more quickly and here after porting through the waypoint I was getting like bad stutters and spikes but not anymore and if we look to my FPS I should have had like 44 or something like that and now as you can see I've got like 60 right yeah, it's a little bit spiky but still the X11 for my old PC gave at least uh, 10 to 15 FPS and everything looks just prettier there is really noticeable visual difference even though I didn't change anything before swapping to the X11 and I'm really happy that there is a lot going on I think that all these changes should bring new life into this game and I'm really really happy because it's an awesome game it's the best MMORPG I've played ever by the way the interesting moment uh, who can tell me why uh, I have frame limiter on unlimited right and I don't have vertical sync on and my FPS doesn't go much higher than 61 maybe 63 at best 
maybe there is some override somewhere in the nvidia control panel or something why my fps is steady because i feel like it could go higher and the colors and uh, everything ah i forgot to mention i even turned on uh, shadows which were off and i don't have any graphical glitches any crashes anything of that sort that other people have uh, which play maybe on window at mode or have a lot of characters or i don't know the reason maybe because it's an old system all intel and nvidia system maybe it's somehow connected to new systems like amd stuff ryzen and whatnot it works for me and i'm really happy just elite specs maybe do not excite me that much anymore because honestly i'm now more excited about fishing because i saw annette's vid on fishing and i believe it will be implemented pretty nicely and this will be another activity to do alone or even better with friends so that's all i had for today thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye bye, bye.